Hello, welcome to another 1UP 3D Blender tutorial. This is going to be the first part to our cloth texturing tutorials. Um, we're going to be making a basic cloth in this one. We'll start out by creating a new image. We'll make sure that's 800 by 800. And in the advanced options, you want to make sure that it's filled with transparency. That just tends to make it easier to get started. All right. First thing we're going to do, we'll pick a color for our cloth. And this green texture should do fine. And I'm going to duplicate that. And just to add a little variation in the color, I'm going to chop it up a little bit. Then I am going to blur that. And you're going probably wondering why I'm doing this since you can't see it since it's the same color, but you'll see in just a moment. I'm going to blur that by about 200. And then I am going to add noise. Don't want to add too much. There you go. As you can see, there's a little bit of color variation in there. Not too much. If you are doing a cloth that has a wide range of color variation then you'd want to do that but um, a lot of times with um, clothing the color won't vary very much since it's all weaved out of fa fabric that's the same color so just merge that down now we're going to go to add a transparency layer and we're going to want to get the bucket and have the color be white. Alright. Now we are going to go to distorts. Erase every other row. And here's our thing. We're going to want to make sure we change that from rows to columns. And at this point it doesn't really matter whether it's even or on. Let's do on, I guess. Alright, we're going to zoom in here to see this. So you, can, so you can see there's the little lines. And if you have a very simple weave, where if you look at the cloth you're doing and it just looks like lines, you can stop here and just lower the opacity on this until it looks about right. And that would work. This is kind of what you do for jeans. I'll be showing you how to do that, probably with full stitching and everything like that. Um, I'll probably make a model to put it on, but at this point we're just doing simple cloth. Um, but the weave is actually going to be more complicated in this one, so we're going to turn this back up. You can um, turn off that l visibility on that layer. Now, the layer we erase the rows on, we're going to scale that layer to 1600 scale that. All right. Now we're going to want to transform, go trans layer transform, go to arbitrary rotation. It's also right here. I don't know. I just like going up to the menu to do it. And put it at 45. All right. Now we're going to duplicate that and go to layer transform, flip horizontally. So you can see it has a kind of a cross weave there. And um, like I was saying before, you'll want to look at an example of the cloth you're trying to emulate and see what the kind of weave is. Um, because a lot of them can be very complicated, but you just kind of want to get the look because it's going to be subtle. You want really subtle, these lines end up being really subtle. So I'm going to merge these two down, go to layer, layer to image size, now we're going to create a new layer, transparency, add white, and we're going to go distorts, erase every other row again, and wait for that to finish. I'm going to add a 
new one with black and do exactly the same thing move that below the top layer there and we're going to blur it by one do it and I want to zoom in on this to just check out it looks hmm all right you can turn on that color and let's see I'm going to lower this a little bit and now we're going to merge these down as you can see it kind of looks like cloth there and one last step if you want to do it it's not absolutely necessary but it looks good if you go to bump map use that layer to make a bump map with it you wanna once again be pretty subtle with it and then I like to turn this back on and lower it even more there you go you got kind of a cloth texture there and we're going to go to file export right. and I got a texture that I'm just going to over overwrite it with So I exported that as a PNG. Now you can close out a GIMP. And I have, just to show you what it'll look like, I have kind of a cloth simulation here. Um, if you don't know how to do this right here, there's um, a lot of tutorials on how to do that. Um, I only have a few minutes left in this tutorial, so I'm just going to show you what the texture looks like real quick. So, get it on there. As you can see, it kind of looks like cloth right there. And I like to. I'm going to turn. Add these so that the specularity doesn't look so ridiculous. Alright, I'm gonna render that out should look. Oop. And as you can see there's there's a lot of different kind of patterns you can do in the in the weave. You don't want it to stand out a lot. This is kind of a thick weave. I probably could have made it a little less obvious but but looks good and um, let me know if there's any kind of cloth that you are having trouble figuring out how to do because if you just do a variation on this you should be able to get just about anything I will be coming back and showing you how to do st something like blue jeans and I'll try to do leather um, and I'll be showing you how to do add stitching and stuff like that if, in case you're trying to make a full piece of clothing so yep let me know if you have any questions or anything like that and please subscribe and tune to the next tutorial see ya